What's going on you guys? So today we're going to do valid palindrome and it's going to be for a string. So the idea is we're given a string, we want to determine if it is a palindrome considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. So like upper or lowercase. Um, for the purpose of this problem we define empty string as valid palindrome. Okay, so let's look at an example. So a is a m is m a is a so if we if we have two pointers one starting at the beginning and one starting at the end can we check whether these are equal um, and they they all are then this will be a palindrome so let's see how we can see that so let's take this example oops okay so Okay, so is A equal to A? Yes, we would do two lowercase. Well, first we would clean it, right? So we'll clean, clean input, and then we'll get something like, we wanna get, um, we'll get rid of white spaces, get rid of punctuation. Okay, so We'll clean the input and then we'll get this here. And then what we'll do is we'll have two pointers. We'll have we'll have uh, I and we'll have J. And we'll just we'll move these in towards the middle and check whether whether the corresponding characters are equivalent. So A is equal to A, so we'll move this in one. Okay, M is equal to M. We'll move this in one, move that in one. Okay, A is equal to A. Move them in. Okay, so N is equal to N. And so you can see we're gonna keep going in towards the middle. And um, there's two cases, right? There's an, there's, there's an even number of characters in there. In that case, in that case, uh, it would look like, let's see, um, ABBA. Let's look at ABBA. Right? So I and J would start at the beginning and end. Um, and so we could do, so the question is, do we need to, do we need to look at the middle character? No, because um, if you flip ABBA around, like, it's not necessary to look at the middle character here. So um, let's think about how we're, what we're doing here. Let's think about pseudocode. So pseudocode, okay, so create, uh, let's say beginning equals zero, end equals s that length minus one. So while beginning is less than end, um, and then, okay, so this is odd odd length let's look at even length um abba i j okay a is equal to a b is equal to b and there's no more characters so so either way i is always going to be less than j um that's all that's all we need and in this case, we're going to call I beginning because it's a little bit more descriptive of what that represents. And J, we're calling end because that's, that's telling us, hey, this one's going to be at the end. The other one's going to be at the beginning. Okay, so while, while beginning is less than end, what are we going to do? We're assuming we have this clean string. So we'll, have to, we'll be doing two things. One, we'll clean the string. And two, we'll check to see if it's a palindrome. So if uh, S at beginning... Um, does not equal s at end we're going to return false and we need to we need to move we need to move our pointers for the next check so we'll decrease end and we'll increase beginning right so that's like that's like moving i and j in towards the metal um, and if we make it to the end so so 
let's say i and j or beginning and end reach the middle here and um what's going to happen there right so i and j will go will switch places and uh the, the while loop will will exit out of the while loop and we can return true so we have to do two things so we have to clean the string and then this will be our check okay okay so the question is how how do we so we've got our variables now we have to think about how we're going to clean the string so var end equals zero var um, wait end equals s dot length s one and this is beginning beginning okay so now we need to get this var clean and we're going to write a get clean function so how are we going to clean this array how are we going to clean this okay so we could just loop over we could loop over the array so we could say for for character in string um if a uh, character is letter or digit see <coughs> we'll keep it so we'll so we'll set clean equal to a string we'll do clean plus equals that character and then we'll return clean so let's take a look at this character is letter or digit so from Kotlin we can call we can call this Java this Java um, <coughs> We can call this function from Kotlin. So it's an inbuilt method in Java which determines if a specific character is a letter or a digit. So we want to keep all letters and digits and drop all the punctuation. Okay, so to use that, we need to import, we need to import the function. Um, so we just need to do, yeah. Okay. So I believe this will work. We're, and then we'll, we'll append to lowercase just so we get, we get, um, so that we can compare this a to this a, right? We want to return true, but, but this will return false because uppercase a does not equal lowercase a. So we'll append the the lowercase value. Okay, so that's what we'll do for get clean. So let's re let's turn that into Kotlin code. Um, and let's get that. Um, say fun is get clean. It's gonna take a string. It will return a string. Okay, just cleaning this up a bit, adding the the Kotlin punctuation. Programming is a little bit like writing, you know, like like we have punctuation, like uh, our brackets are kind of like uh, periods, you know. They they say this is where this statement is ending. Okay, let's think. Anything else we need to do? Make that a function. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh. 
Oops. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> okay, so let's debug and see what's going on here. Um, let's print. Let's print clean and see what it looks like. Did we get the correct clean output? A man, a plan. What's going on there? So, a man. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see. Is that correct? Okay. Let's see here. A man, a plan, a canal. Interesting. So now we want to ask ourselves why. So this looks looks to be correct, and this should work. So now the question is, what is at some point? So this is. So our result is false. So at some point, we're we're getting into this while loop, and this check returns true s of begin does not equal s of end so it's going to return false so let's so if this happens here's what we'll do to, to debug this we're going to print <coughs> um, let's see s s of and we want to see begin and we want to see Oh, here's the problem. So we're not going to get the same value because of this increment and decrement. So let's, for now, let's move this this decrement to. Oh, interesting. Hold on. The question is, when do we want to increment and decrement and beginning and end? <coughs> okay, let's see here. Search for begin, we're gonna turn it into end. We're gonna ask. No, no, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, let's see what was happening. So this is what we had. We may need to move these increment and decrement operations, but let's just check and see. So let's kill that. Alright. And we want we want to see what clean looks like too. So 
So S and M. There is no S. Oh. Oh, I see the problem, guys. So this doesn't S. We want this to be uh, clean. Oh, man. Okay. All right, this should work, I think. Oh, and this this is going to be clean. Oh man, okay. All right, I think I figured it out, but we'll see. All right, let's see. Okay, you guys. So the issue. Wait, let's let's just check to make sure this is running. Okay, you guys. Um, wow, that took a long time. Uh, let's see here. Wait, what's, what's going on? Okay, so let's clean this up. Okay, so what was the issue? Um, let's run this again. Interesting. So this function seems pretty slow. Um, okay. The issue here was we were we were call I was calling uh, s our original string instead of calling our clean string. So we want to be referring to clean uh, when we're looking at the end, and we want to be comparing values within our cleaned string. Um, okay. Cool. Um, and let's think about runtime. So let's think. So clean, clean is going to loop through each character in the string. So that's going to be O of n. O of n. OK. And uh, beginning, so the while loop, it will loop through half of the length of clean. So just O of n. So this can be O of 2n, or just O of n, as n approaches infinity. Um, And space complexity, let's think about that. So no recursive calls, no recursive function calls. We are storing the clean variable. Um, and also, here's another thing. So string is an immutable class in Java. So every time we, we do this clean plus equals, it creates a new string. So one little optimization we could do is make this a string builder. We can just do, um, uh, and we can append our new character to it at the end, and go to to string. So this maybe maybe this will speed it up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, oop. So we gotta go like that. Oh. Okay, so that's that's a lot faster. So using Using the string builder instead of a string, it, f it sped it up. Wow. It went from 1,800 uh, uh, milliseconds to 200. So string builder really speeds things up. Uh, that's interesting to see. OK. Uh, in space complexity, we are storing the string clean. So it's just, um, but that's a constant value. So just O of 1 space, I think. Uh, let me know if you guys think that's O of n space because if we have a very long string, like our clean, the the clean value that we're storing is also going to be very long. So that's what makes me think about that. But from initial looks, looks like O of n time complexity because we're only looping. Worst case, we're only looping through the string once, and O of one space complexity because we compute clean uh, only once. Um, yeah, and that's all. So this has been uh, Valid Palindrome. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.